Good morning, Cabo. We were moving just a few minutes ago. I think we are barely moving anymore, but we've come into port. It is just eight o'clock in the morning right now. I think so. We kind of slept, well, I, yeah. I slept in. You slept until what, seven and I got up at 7.30? Yeah. I rolled over and she was sitting on the couch because I was sleeping right there and she was sitting right here. Reading. And she just kind of waved at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we need coffee this morning. I definitely need coffee. We did not order um, like a room service tray last night because I want to try um, Cove Cafe and see if they, if they have any pastries this morning. Works for me. I think we're totally stationary now. We have probably, probably anchored. dropped anchor, I think. Anyway, we need coffee. We need a little bit of food. It is game day, people. Go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. And the day is beautiful. It's not dreary anymore. It's now it's sunny and gorgeous outside. Yeah, it's supposed to be a high of like 85 today. But yesterday it was a little chilly. I think the high yesterday was 66 degrees, I think is what they said. Yeah, it was chilly. While, before we get too far away from the subject of football, I want to say something to John Cushel, who leaves the kindest, most supportive football comments on my channel. Um, I'm thinking of you and your Packers today because we're playing you and your Packers today. So I just hope it's a good game. Let's go get coffee. Let's go get coffee. Yeah. We are back in the Cove Cafe this morning. Mom got a cinnamon scroll and is destroying it. I got a croissant and a cranberry slice. Mom got a pumpkin spice latte. I have a uh, gingerbread latte and some technical difficulties. <laughs> good morning, everyone. There's a few people in the pool. Doesn't look like anyone is in the hot tub. There's a one person in the hot tub there. It is just about 8.30 this morning and we are in beautiful Cabo. The sun shining off of the ocean is beautiful. There you can see the terrain here. It's quite picturesque. They're tendering today to get us to Cabo. Let's walk around the ship and see what we can see. There's not a lot of people up yet. Those that are, some of them are headed to Animator's Palette because they are letting people go off the ship and into town since they are vaccinated. But then they have quite a few activities that you can get also that will take you off the ship take you around Cabo there's a salsa and salsa there's a couple of snorkeling adventures you can see a tender ship a tender boat they're not they're tiny in comparison to this one heading out so let's see if we can walk around the ship and see now you can tell that the basketball court is here but there's obviously no basketball now because of the touch point. You can't hardly clean a basketball. Let's look out off the front of the ship. Here we go. And there is Cabo. This is the uh, staff's pool down here. Sometimes you'll see them in that pool. But there's Cabo. And that's one of the tender boats taking people in. You go in through this inlet right there. And that's where that tender boat is going to take those folks. And and they really keep you in a group. It's it's a pretty nice experience that Disney has arranged. I really like the pirate ships. They have pirate ship activities that you can get on those ships and spend a day of adventure on one of those pirate ships. There was somebody out here exercising, but it looks like they gave up for other things. Okay, these are the tender ships, the little boats that are gonna take people into Cabo. So we've walked all the way around this top deck. 
and you can see down here to the Cove Cafe adult area. They have these nice little areas because sometimes it does rain and it's nice to have a little covered area so you can be outside but yet covered. This is the signals bar down here and that is closed at this point of the morning but it'll be opening soon. I'm walking on around. This is the concierge lounge here. The first big funnel. Of course there's elevator shafts in there. And they have these glass walls to operate as a sound barrier and a wind barrier. This is the family pool and it's not open yet. Two hot tubs here and one there and they're still roped off this early morning. And there's their funnel vision showing Alice in Wonderland this morning. This area looks down on cabanas. I'll show you. You can just see a little bit of it. Because some of it is covered. But that's the whole back end of the ship there. Isn't that just beautiful? Look how calm the sea is today. Now you can look at a few of these rooms that are here on the back. Coming back around the ship. Coming up on the funnel vision from the other side. We'll take the stairs and go down just to be on the other deck. But you can see this family pool area. Not open yet. Still roped off. But isn't, isn't that just set up wonderful with those hot tubs and that pool and the funnel vision right there? It is game day and we saw some other Chiefs fans out by the pool. But now we are walking, taking the stairs down to the Crown and Fin because football starts in an hour, 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm ready for football. We're in the Crown and Fin. I have decided to try to edit. I've had a little bit of technical difficulties um, in the last day, which makes me a little bit concerned slash sad. What? My computer and my technical issues. Oh, continuing. Well, yeah. Anyway, mom went you and got take us. You computer for a nice swim? I, mean, that's where, that's, <laughs> I think it would like to go for a swim. The ocean is right out there. Yeah. Sometimes that's where I was at last night. Thank God we don't have a veranda because it might have just Taking gone overboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mom went and got us some morning special drinks. Now, how much were these? Were they four fifty a piece? I think that's right. And she got me a mimosa and she got herself a Bloody Mary. That is delicious. From the French Quarter Lounge. And so I'm sitting here waiting for football and some other people have come in so we're not alone in wanting to watch football on a cruise okay but sitting here I noticed another piece well another Easter egg who does this look like does that look like the darling family from Peter Pan because I think it totally does I love Nana cute I've been informed I made a mistake 475 a piece for the morning special deal now does that run till noon or is it 10 o'clock in the morning that it goes? I don't, I, I don't know. But the guy told me when I asked him if we still had time, he said, yeah, you have plenty of time. Cool, well, morning special, 475, not bad. We finally have some football. It was sort of a fiasco of sorts, trying to get football figured out. For you? Oh, thank you. Wow, thank you. Mom had to be complicated and ask for coffee in the Crown and Finn, which is not a coffee bar. But he was a good sport and brought her some coffee with Bailey's Jameson. What? What behind you? Oh, hello. Hello. You're really a good sport. We're so thankful. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy. That was a good start. Yeah. 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 So is that M and M's? <gasps> There's M and M's and pretzels and no fava beans. I guess the fava beans they used to give us gave us a lot of gas. Oh my gosh. This is really good coffee. The Chiefs just won. Unbelievable. It was unbelievable. It was not a good win. It was an ugly game. On both sides. Just hideous. Right, Mom? Sad. Yeah. We spent the majority of the day in the Crown and Finn pub watching football. We watched two games. Vikings, Ravens, yeah. and then the Chiefs, 
Packers. We the one o'clock in the Well, I guess while the Vikings Ravens were playing, we also watched the Broncos Cowboys game. We ugly. The early game in the Well, okay. So the Vikings game was ugly, and then the Cowboys Broncos game was ugly, and then the Chiefs Packers game was ugly. But I feel lucky because we spent a lot of time in the Crown and Finn pub and Football is more my thing than mom's thing. Like, mom will watch football, but it's not her thing. I love it, and so I got to spend a lot of the day watching football today. And I had a lot of fun doing that. Now it is dinner time. Well, it's almost dinner time. We're in Animator's Palette tonight. It's our first night in the Animator's Palette. I'm really, really excited because I think it's going to be the night with the show like the like the movie that shows on the screens or the it's not a movie but it's a show that shows on the different screens around the restaurant and it always makes me cry I think that's what's gonna happen tonight I don't really care if it is or not I'm just really excited um while mom is taking her shower I want to talk to you about something let me pull it out so I can show you okay so we are traveling with two other couples that are older okay but they've both sailed for a bunch of times now one of them has sailed for fewer times than we have sailed but they've never heard of the beer mug token have you heard of this if you have not heard of this I'm about to tell you about it they sell these you can buy a mug of beer it's a great big tall I think it's a 20 ounce mug I think it's 20 ounces. It's like a great big mug and you can buy it with a beer in it, a tap, beer on tap, mug filled with beer on tap for $17.50. Now when you drink your beer and the beer in the mug is gone, you can turn the mug in and pick up one of these tokens. Now this is not a token, this is a card. It used to actually be a coin and then I guess a bunch of people like started taking the coins home instead of taking the beer mug home at the end of the cruise, which is what you're supposed to be able to do. You buy this, you can return your mug to any bar at any time, and you can get a new mug full of beer refilled for the price of a 16 ounce. So like a regular beer, you can get a bigger one refilled for the price of a 16 ounce if you have this. They give you like the glass beer mug if you are like in anywhere inside the ship. If you're up in the pool deck, the beer mug is plastic. If you're inside, it's glass. So it's kind of heavy. But I think that the beer mug token thing is a really great deal. So, it's a good deal. well, yeah, it is, it is kind of a good deal. Now, Disney doesn't really do discounts. And I didn't know if anyone like knew or didn't know about this. I just kind of felt like, Maybe I should talk about this. Did you know that this was a thing? If you're a beer drinker, I suggest you buy one of these. Now, at the end of your cruise, you're supposed to turn your card in to Disney Cruise Line. And so you give them this at the end of your cruise and you can get a clean mug to take home. We've done that before, but I'm gonna share a secret with you. I don't know how much longer this is gonna happen, but what we do is we break the we we break the rules, okay? We forgot to turn it in. Sure. We've taken these home, the card home with us. And then when we bring it back on the ship, they accept it. Now, I don't know if they're ever going to get rid of the card or the token or the mug. I can't speak for that. I can speak for our experience for now. But, oh, you smell really good, Mom. Right. Yeah, I took a shower. Yeah, I can smell the soap. It smells nice. But anyway, what, <laughs> what we do is, we well, what we have done, we have taken the beer tokens home, the card. Because we've bought several. And then we bring it back on the ship. It, because it's just easier than taking a glass mug home. I really don't want to travel with a great big glass, heavy glass mug. And this is lighter and less fragile and they have not turned us away yet so we've been lucky but there you go so that's what we've done we love the beer mug token 
I think it's a pretty great deal. And then you get to take a beer mug home. And it's also dinner time, so I need to put on some shoes so we can go to dinner. A quick gingerbread house update. It's taking form and I'm really excited. And also, Captain Mickey and Captain Minnie, yay! We're in animators tonight. Oh, and I'm so excited. I love this restaurant. Great reef. That's really pretty. This is the bumblebee. Blueberry licious. I have these sliced serrano ham and so does mom. And the black truffle presets, I'm not a fan of those. I don't like them. They've spoken highly of you. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they have. We have some empty plates because we're all doing family style special order Indian. Yum, 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 yum. The rice there. Well, we were given rice, bread, shrimp, and dal. Yum. This one's spicy. I haven't tried that one yet. Have you tried that one, Mom? Oh, this one's got a little burn to it. Yeah, this one is a little bit hot. The vegetarian's almost sweet. Sweet? Oh, cool. Oh, it's a lot spicier. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> We finished dinner. Oh that show. God, I think dinner finished me. Wow. Well, okay. Food was amazing. We special ordered. I'll talk about that when we get back to the stateroom. But first, we need to walk a lap because so we're full. so full. Also, the show made me cry. But it always yeah, makes me cry. Too. But it's like pitch black out there. I see a star and nothing else. So, Where's the star? Out that way. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I think I see one. But we're gonna walk a lap or maybe two because we are so oh. full from dinner. Our huh. towel animal tonight is a dinosaur. And dove chocolate. Roar. Right? Did you, is that where you're keeping the stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what was happening to our chocolate. And we got something in the mail. Well, wow, celebrate your magical birthday. Ooh, happy birthday. Allow us to create a relaxing and memorable day for you. We invite you to celebrate your birthday at Census Spa and Salon. Apply this $50 spa gift certificate. What? Toward any 50 minute or more face or body treatment on port days, including day at Castaway. I'd love to go to Day of Castaway. Well, I would love to have a Day of Castaway, but we don't oh, have grand. a Day of Castaway. Boo-hoo. Expires the 14th. The so 14th? I We're on this till the 19th. I have one week to use this, and I've got one port day. <laughs> Two port days? Yeah, I'm Cartagena and then tomorrow. Tomorrow is Puerto Vallarta, and I think we've got Cartagena. And that's it. Yeah. Until then. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you got so, chances to use it. Nice. Well, still, yeah. it's a nice gesture. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll use it. What would I use it for? Yeah, I don't think you're going to get to hmm. get a hair done. Probably not going to get to redeem this, but that's okay. Yeah. Thank you, Disney Cruise Line. Thank you, Senses Spa and Salon. That was a safe gift because we're not going to use it. This was very kind. <laughs> and you'll probably get to keep your $50. Your $50. So, All right, let's talk about Indian food. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit of, about how we got special order food tonight for dinner. 
we've done it before I've talked about it I've left comments on other YouTube like Disney cruise vlog series about it special ordering food on Disney Cruise Line has been an option for people who have special dietary needs mm -hmm. or people who don't like the menu options last night we were looking at the menu for tonight and we kind of decided we didn't really like the a menu. A lot of the choices, yeah. And it's not that the menu is bad, but we were kind of bored and we wanted to try something else. And so we asked our server if there was mm -hmm. any possibility we could pre-order, special order Indian food for tonight. tonight. And he said yes. So tonight he brought us a plate of rice and two different, what, sauces? Yeah, well, one was a vegetarian with doll with like lentils. Yeah. And, and it peas. was sort of spicy, and the other one was a shrimp. Very, 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 very had spicy. Some heat to it, yeah. Yeah, I think my head was on fire. I looked like anger from inside out for <laughs> several minutes, and there was a, mom a moment there I was like, I should ask for milk or ice cream. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was really. Fighting. But it was so good, and the chef came out, and we got to meet him, and he was really kind, and then we had the show, yeah, uh, right before dessert, and yeah. that show always makes me cry. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's about a 10 minute show mm -hmm. where um, they- They bring the animations to life on the screens. And there's some music, music and, and some then a character pops out. Voiceovers. You've already seen the character, Mickey, yeah. Sorcerer Mickey comes out, and it was just so wonderful. Yeah. So we've had dinner. We've had a little walk, and now we're back in the room. I'm about to turn on the TV because I think there's Sunday Night Football probably still on. Yeah, maybe. 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 And then the show, Acapella, is, is going to be on in 30, 45, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Yeah. Is it 8.30? I think it's 8.30. Okay. So, I think we're going to watch we a little bit of football, and then we're going to go to the Acapella show. Which I cannot show you because it is in the Walt Disney Theater and we are not allowed to record in there. Yeah. But we'll talk about it later, maybe. We'll let you know. If we go to the show because we planned on going to Frozen last night and that did not happen. No, but we did watch a little bit of it on... We did watch it on the TV, so yeah. that was cool. Yeah. But that's our. those are our plans for the evening. We'll see what happens. It's now 8.15 and I just got the text message from the app saying that the... Family variety show Moonshot, which is a cappella, begins in the Walt Disney Theater in 15 minutes. So we're gonna go down and I'm gonna leave the camera here and you guys will see us when we get back. Back in the room, I'm in pajamas. Mom is actually in bed already. And we just finished Descendants 2. So we watched the Moonshot um, a cappella group. They're actually based out of Orlando, which I thought was really, really cool. And they were pretty good. It was really entertaining. They sang a Descendants medley and we've kind of been Emma and I've been trying to get mom to watch all of the Descendants movies and we started Descendants 2 yesterday I think right mom so it was very timely yes it was very timely so we've just finished Descendants 2 and I think I don't know maybe tomorrow we'll start Descendants 3 I don't know maybe not tomorrow but probably not tonight but good day really good Great. day very very lazy day we watched a lot of football and did a whole lot of nothing but i'm getting notifications from the disney cruise app mm. um we lose an hour tonight so we're moving to a different time zone and i think it's bedtime so that's gonna be it you guys will see us tomorrow in the next cruise vlog good night <laughs>